Hello and welcome. My name is Martina Cowan. I'm a registered nutritional therapist at the Optimum Health Clinic. And today we're going to be talking about what part can nutrition play in supporting those with fatigue related illness. Now, I hope that by the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of all the elements your food needs to contain to support better energy metabolism. To start off with, let's talk a little bit about our body, how it functions and the fuel it needs to work at its best. Our bodies complete many functions each day. Even when we sleep, our body is busy keeping us alive, fighting infections, cleaning and clearing the toxins, taking care in and many others. All of these functions are what we are not even consciously aware of, consciously affecting, let alone all of those that we affect ourselves, such as movement, eating, and thinking. All these processes are very energy dependent, so we need to provide the body with the fuel and the nutrients to complete these actions, these functions, as best as it can. I like to talk about macro and micronutrients, as these are important to know when it comes to nutrition. Macronutrients help us grow, develop, repair, give us energy and make us feel good. These are fats, proteins and carbohydrates. And each macronutrient is uniquely important. Fats are essential for storing energy, helping to produce certain hormones, and they also help forming a layer of soft protection around our organs, among many other functions. Carbohydrates are organic compounds that contain carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Carbohydrates are also the most common natural molecule produced naturally in living organisms. This is because carbohydrates are one of the main nutritional needs for most living organisms. Proteins. These are the building blocks of life, building blocks of our bodies, and every cell in the human body contains proteins, and our bodies constantly need more to repair old cells and make new ones. Proteins are important for everybody, but developing children, teens, and pregnant women need the most protein in their diets. Proteins allow your body to grow, repair, and build. And oftentimes we see clients who may be eating all of these macronutrients, but at the wrong proportions. This may then affect their energy and overall health progress. And focusing on the correct proportions of macronutrients during recovery is important to enable the body to fuel, to create energy. The next set of nutrients are micronutrients, such as vitamins and minerals. And these help to sustain the process that enables energy creation. From supporting different enzymes to synthesis of hormones and supporting immune function, micronutrients are important to our recovery as they support the body to come back into balance or homeostasis. Therefore, a diet that is balanced in both micro and macronutrients helps to support our energy metabolism, but also all the other functions in the body. If you'd like to find out more, please watch some of the other videos on this channel or visit our website, theoptimumhealthclinic.com. Many thanks for watching today.